thought this is just an over hot fragrance over hot for nothing i don't like this i should have listened to jackie i know Hey babies, welcome back to my channel. If you've seen this beautiful face for the first time, I hope you don't make your last by joining the family. Like, share, subscribe, and all the good stuff. For my OGs, thank you guys so much for clicking on today's video. If you're an OG actually, comment down below, write OG in the comment section down below. Please don't forget to put on your notification bell. I don't want you guys to miss any videos once I upload. And without further ado, let's get into today's video. I am back with a gem today. I'm literally here to save my babes and my mandems from spending so much money on an expensive perfume where you can just buy a dupe of it for less, literally, or at least something similar. So if you wanna know the perfumes I'm gonna talk about today then definitely keep on watching babes before you continue watching this video it's gonna mean so much to me if you can just take five seconds out of your time to like this video so that way the algorithm can pick up this video that way I can reach a wider audience and that way you're helping your girl to grow so babes the first perfume here is mfk gentle fluidity go just like the name says gentle this perfume is quite gentle okay this fragrance is amazing if you watched my um mfk um fragrance haul then i bought testers by the way then you would know how much i raved about gentle fluidity gold and the minute i sprayed gentle fluidity gold i was like oh my god this reminds me of a fragrance now this is not a beast mode perfume by any means um if you have to compare with the mfk line the baccarat rouge and utsetu mood this is this is not a beast mode fragrance but i still love it and if i have the opportunity to have five perfumes for life then definitely gentle fluidity gold will be part of it okay however however listen this is quite expensive if you know mfk line you know mfk is quite expensive so i would advise that you buy rose gourmand by zara now this smells very 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 similar including the notes as well i mean this does not have rose by the way but it smells like i said the first time i smelled um mfk gentle fruity gold it reminded me so much so much of rose gourmand and guys i'm so sorry for the lighting that keeps going up and down i'm filming with natural lights so the sun right now is fighting with whatever it's fighting with and keeps going up and down but yeah so as well rose gourmand is also a dupe for um mancera roses vanille and yeah a lot of people say it smells very similar so instead of buying roses vanille and mfk i would advise that you buy rose gourmand now rose gourmand has the notes of um roses vanilla and amber and it smells so good it smells so 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 good now do i mind having both of them in my collection definitely not but like i said i'm trying to save you guys from spending so much money I advise you start off first with rose gourmand and yeah so babies the next fragrance on the list is this perfume i know you know this perfume already but listen gorgeous gorgeous girls have gorgeous gorgeous perfume bottles i only have this fragrance still in my collection because of the bottle listen that's the only reason why i've got this fragrance in my collection now it's got a lot of notes um it's got almond coffee bergamot lemon tuberose jasmine sunback orange blossom oris Bur uh, bulgarian rose tucker bean cacao vanilla praline sandalwood musk amber cashmere wood cinnamon patchouli and cedar like this has way too much notes but the only notes I don't like in this fragrance is the tuberose. Now, I have another fragrance that smells exactly the same. Well, not exactly the same, but the tuberose in there just screams and says, no, girl, what are you doing? I don't, no, no, no. A lot of people did say this is a compliment getter. Maybe, I haven't really used this fragrance, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe I've used it like twice and that's it. I need to find a perfume that I can, you know, mixed together so that way i can maybe wear it more often i don't think it's a safe blind buy so i'd advise that you buy um me and my selfie by zara now this is a very pretty bottle um this is the improbable 004 i talked about the improbable 002 the sense of glam now this is a little bit softer and the notes in this one is um, almond, magnolia, and tonka bean. I mean, there's no tuberose in there, but the moment I sprayed this, I was like, oh my God, this reminds me of a fragrance I have in my collection. It's me and my selfie. It opens up very nutty, sweet. It's an amber floral fragrance, and it's not as bad 
as this there's no tuberose note um on zara website and fragantica but i can bet with you there's tuberose in there just that the tuberose in here is not as pronounced it's not as um it's not as crazy as the tuberose in um good girl so, so yeah instead of buying karina guerrero buy me and my selfie okay. the next fragrance on the list is pink sugar by aqualina now this fragrance i got this oof oh no no i got this fragrance like two years ago um it's got raspberry it's got orange big leaf bergamot curtain candy licorice um red red berry strawberry lily of the valley caramel vanilla musk tongue bean and sandalwood now this perfume is annoying i think i got this fragrance from i think it was i can't remember her name now but she's a very popular youtuber um yeah so she talked so much about pink sugar aqualina that i was like okay do you know what she looks like she knows what she's saying so let me buy this fragrance now i bought this on um amazon amazon uk and oh no just no no this fragrance is annoying it's very very annoying um it opens up too sweet and the sweetness is overpowering the sweetness is is the kind of sweetness that will give you headache let me know your thoughts about pink sugar in the comment section down below if you have it um i was also watching um lucy benson on youtube the other day and she talked about how she doesn't like pink sugar as well i feel like it's just too annoying it's too sweet um, the other notes are not really coming out of it. Like, I don't get the Tonka Bean. I don't get the other notes in there. Like, the way I get Tonka Bean, this has Tonka Bean. But I don't get Tonka Bean in here. Um, so, instead of buying this, I'd advise that you buy this. This is stuff by uh, Rehab. Um, I'd advise that you buy this. This has the notes of caramel, citruses, vanilla, white musk, orchid, vetiver, jasmine, and woody notes. It took me a while to actually realize that this and this, they smell quite similar. Um, I really, really like this. I have like a bottle now, which I'm going to leave here for you guys to see. And I got the roller bottle and I got this on Amazon as well. This fragrance is so amazing. This is one of my first um, compliment getter fragrance and the person i got the compliment from when i wore this fragrance he has a lot of perfumes and it felt so good for him to say oh my god timmy you smell so good and you smell really delicious and i was like oh my god this smells like a lemon cake and it smells so good like this is a summer fragrance definitely because i mean in summer you want to smell fresh this is very fresh but yeah so instead of buying pink sugar save your money and buy a rehab the next fragrance on the list is a libre do, 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 do. now i don't like this fragrance at all is the bottle pretty of course it is pretty because pretty pretty girls have pretty pretty perfume bottles but this is just an over hyped fragrance over hyped for nothing i don't like this the lavender is doing way too much like literally too much extremely too much i don't like this whatsoever so uh, this is just a waste of money and you guys can tell from the bottle how much i am used now of course the bottle is very pretty and i don't want to talk too much about this the only reason why i'm holding this is because i don't have the intense bottle and yeah so instead of buying libre whatever just just buy just don't waste your money buy golden decade this is golden decade by zara this is um an amber floral fragrance or yeah i think the number either amber floral fragrance or amber vanilla fragrance so the and top note is lavender mandarin orange and bergamot the medium notes is lavender tunisia orange blossom jasmine sambal and orchid the base notes in libre intense is madagascar vanilla tonka bean ambergris and vetiver in uh golden decade the top note is mandarin orange the middle note is jasmine orange blossom lavender and the base note is vanilla now the only reason why i still have this and i've used so much you guys can tell from the juice is because of the vanilla i guess the vanilla kind of just you know made everything a lot more softer now this is um 20 pounds i believe i think this is about like 70 something pounds but yeah so instead of buying libra intense or libra original just buy um golden decade you're saving yourself a lot of money for something that smells exactly the same 
The next fragrance on the list is Gardenia by Zara. And you guys can tell how much I've used from this fragrance. All right, this is the limited edition, by the way. This is 150, yeah, this is 150 ml, and this is Eau de Parfum. Um, so apparently this is exact due for black opium. Now, I don't have black opium in my collection. Um, but yeah, if people say it smells like black opium, who am I to say it doesn't? So if you don't want to spend too much money on black opium or you want to test out black opium and you don't want to spend so much money now or you don't want to blind buy it then i would advise that you buy gardenia now let me read out the notes in black opium for you my babes so the note in black opium is um pear, uh, is pear pink pepper orange blossom the middle notes is coffee jasmine bitter um almond and licorice the base note is vanilla, patchouli, cedar, and cashmere, roll, cashmere wood. Then for gardenia, the top note is raspberry, tangerine, bergamot, peach, and lemon. The middle note is gardenia, white flowers, and jasmine. The base note is vanilla, cashmere wood, patchouli, musk, and cedar. Now, they seem to have like the same base notes, actually. Um, there's no coffee note in here, but I definitely smell the coffee. I get the coffee and the vanilla, actually. And this is a very, a very pretty fragrance. This is a very, very, very lovely fragrance. I don't know why I haven't been using this. I need to start using it now, even if it's just in the house. Actually, let me spray it now. Oof. <laughs> but this is so, ooh, ooh. this reminds me of when I first got this fragrance and how amazing it smelled and stuff. But yeah. Next is Jade the Pozor. I, I think I'm pronouncing it right. Um, this is Kesar. I got this from my friend. This is what the bottle looks like. The bottle is very, very pretty. The top note is banana leaf, fruity notes. The middle note is lavender, rosemary, geranium, sage. The base note is oak moss, cedar, patchouli, and sandalwood. And when I first got this fragrance, like, you know, I, I think it was up to here. And you guys can see how much I have used because I've almost run out. Um, like I said, I hijacked this from a male friend and this is a very aromatic aromatic fruity fragrance yeah this is aromatic mint is not written here but it smells kind of minty as well yeah it does okay well the, the rosemary i guess yeah it does smell uh minty i think the rosemary and the sage it's a lovely fragrance and i like mixing pink sugar and this together it pairs them very well together it is zara man silver so i got this for my brother for his birthday i actually sprayed this together and i was like this reminds me of fragrance this reminds me of a fragrance i have in my collection that i've used together and Lo and behold, it is this fragrance. Now, I think this is about 100, 100 pounds? Between 75 to 100 pounds or more than that, I can't remember. And this is EDT. This is not EDP, this is EDT. I believe this is EDT as well. Um, Yeah, this is EDT as well. Um, This has the note of, let me read out the note. The note in Zaraman Silver is Neroli, Pepper, and Sandalwood. Now, you guys can see that they have like similar notes. The base note um, for, the base note for this is also the same for, uh, diamond silver and yeah so the smell quite similar if you don't want to spend too much money on this then buy Zaraman silver and save your money i believe Zaraman silver is probably 15 pounds i bought this on sale so i think it's about 15 pounds so yeah oh child i am tired but anyways the next fragrance on the list is zara woman gold um this is a floral fruity fragrance and um the top note is strawberry the middle note is caramel and the base note is musk and vanilla this is a very hmm this is a very very lovely fragrance but yeah so this is said to be a dupe for Paco Rabanne Lady Million and um that also is a fruity floral fragrance or floral fruity fragrance I don't know but apparently they smell um it's a dupe so if you don't want to spend so much money on buying Paco Rabanne Lady Million then definitely buy Zara Woman Gold and Zara has a different bottle for they have a different bottle now so this is the new bottle that Zara has um on their page just in case you're a bit confused and you're thinking but it doesn't look the same as mine yeah they have a different bottle from the zara woman gold and zara woman rose gold so yeah this is zara woman gold um a dupe for lady paco rabanne i believe this is 15 pounds so you're literally spending less for more and yeah thank me later so babes the last but not the least fragrance i have in my collection i know you guys are gonna be like ah uh -uh, you've been talking about other fragrances you're talking about rose gold man you're talking about golden decade are you not gonna talk about this fragrance 
I am going to talk about it. Just take a chill pill. You know, I'm saving the last. I'm saving the best for the last, the last for the best, however they say it. And the last but not certainly not the least is MFK Baccarat Rouge 54T. Now, this is also a tester. And yeah, so MFK, 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 Baccarat Rouge, the almighty Baccarat Rouge. Now, um, you guys know how much this perfume is so expensive and it's got saffron it's got praline it's got jasmine there's so many notes in there now is there any company that has not literally duped baccarat rouge 540 i feel like there's a lot of dupes out there it makes no sense at this point and i kind of agree when i was watching lucy benson's video when she talked about baccarat rouge and how much like she loves the fragrance but she wouldn't spend so much money buying it now when there are so many dupes and stuff of course i don't to get it exactly like baccarat rouge maybe not there will be like some little little you know things that makes uh, the fragrance different just a tiny bit however i mean if you're trying to save money you're trying to save um yourself from spending so much money just to smell like literally everyone else baby red temptation like see how much i have used because like i said in my last video when in doubt just wear red temptation Red Temptation is a perfect dupe for MFK, literally. So why are you spending so much money on a, a fragrance that's like 200 and something euros when you can just buy this for 20 pounds, literally. You're spending so little money for more, literally. Now, I don't mind reapplying like every four hours or six hours and stuff. I'd rather do that than buy the original one. I mean, if you, listen, hold, hold up, hold up. If you want to bless me with the original one, I don't mind. I don't mind. But I feel like I'm not going to use my money to buy original Baccarat Rouge 540 when I can just buy the dupe. And last, last, I'm going to buy the roller bottle. Like the Red Temptation has a roller bottle as well. So I could buy, literally buy the roller bottle as well just to reapply it. Like I'm not going to spend so much money just to smell like everyone else, you know. Um, and as well, if you don't want to buy Red Temptation, um, you can buy this fragrance here. This is our rehab. Um, I got this on um, Amazon. I think I got this for four pounds and it smells really, really, really identical as well. Now, um, Red Temptation is a very lovely fragrance. It's very woody, it's spicy, it's fresh. To me, it's fresh. And I really, really love this. As you guys can see how much I have used. If there's any fragrance you feel like I am missing, that could be a dupe. Let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know your thoughts about all these fragrances, especially this. What do you think, guys? I want to know your honest opinion. What do you think about Libra Original? Like, li listen, would you rather buy... Libre Intense or Libre Original? Because I mean, I feel personally, this is overhyped. Like, I mean, I do mix this with my Versace Crystal Noir because it's very long lasting. You smell really, really rich, but on its own, I'm never gonna use this fragrance on its own. Like, I don't like it. It could be a compliment getter for other people, but it's not for me. And I should have listened. I should have listened to Jackie Aina when she said this was an overhyped fragrance. And yeah, but anyways, let me know your thoughts, like I said, about these fragrances and stuff. Let me know your thoughts. Which one do you like? Which one do you not like? Which one would you do be trying out and buying and stuff? Let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below. And guys, if you've gotten up to here and you've not liked this video, come on, what are you doing? Please now, do I have to go on my knees to beg you guys to like this video so the algorithm can pick, my, pick up my video? I shouldn't have to go on my knees to do that, okay? But anyways, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, share, subscribe, click the notification bell. Anyways, I'll see you guys in my next video because I really, really want to see you guys in my next video. But till then, stay easy, breezy, and stay beautiful. Bye, babes.